At number three, game of the day in Duval County, featuring a furious rally by future Hall of Famer Ben Roethlisberger. Big Ben overcame the talented and verbose Jags defense. They like to talk a lot uh, before the game, during the game, uh, but I'm, I'm carrying the game ball home. A 16-point deficit, some potentially devastating drops, and even one of his own linemen to score the game-winning touchdown. At number two, couple items from the pregame. Coaching foes Frank Reich and Mike Vrabel, they look like a before and after pick for men's hair dye. Ironic considering what I'd expect the two coaches to look like after what Coach Reich's team did to Coach Vrabel's. Also, check out Juju Smith-Schuster here, who showed up at the stadium dressed like a Jaguar. Hey, it worked. But does this mean he's gonna dress like the mascots of the other teams left on the Steelers' schedule? A Patriot? A Raider? A Saint? I'll tell you this much. I'm looking forward to finding out. And that brings me to number one in this week's brown paper bag of shame, which goes to Dave Damashek. Yeah, there I was, seated on the couch next to my die-hard Steelers fan of a father, watching the very end of the events from Jags and Steelers. Steelers at the goal line. One play left to go in regulation. Roethlisberger takes the snap. I sat forward in my seat. What happened? Where'd it go? I sat on the remote. Yeah, my butt did what Matt Filers couldn't. It stopped Big Ben from scoring that touchdown, at least in my house. Hey, all's well that ends well. Get it? End because. Anyhow, I get this. It's the brown paper bag of shame. Till next time, Dave and all of you out there. Try not to embarrass yourselves. Happy Thanksgiving.